Hey, welcome back guys, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new episode for you here today and we have several announcements to make inside of this video. The first one, we are going to be doing a 300k sub Q&A this weekend, so let me have some questions down below. Don't forget to keep them original, keep them unique, don't like do the old boring ones like Tony, are you still a virgin, you know, keep, keep them funny guys, keep them original. Secondly, we are going to be starting a funny comment of the day, so over the last couple of days I've realised a lot of you comment some really weird stuff in that comment section. Now, some of it's going to be hate towards me, some of it's going to be funny, and some of it is just going to be damn right strange. So the first one we're going to start with is this. So yeah, th th that's a great one to start with. This guy is basically blaming me for him being bad. I mean, does that even make sense? He's unsubbing me because he's bad. I mean, come on! Anyway, guys, we're just going to carry on here. What we're going to do, we are going to show you some of the massive loot raids that I've been finding inside of the Masters League. Now, the reason why I've decided to bring you this episode, quite simply, I think you guys deserve to know that right now inside of the Masters League, and I'm sure many other leagues as well, there is an insane amount of loot. I have no idea where it's come from. I mean, I'm talking like you can find million plus loot raids every like couple of base hits. It's absolutely ridiculous. I've never seen loot like this before. Oh yeah, and on top of that guys, we are doing the uh, the Valley of Death 2.0 troll base, and we have some pretty good replays to show you. Now there may be an episode on this later on today, but I'm not sure, it just depends if we get some more awesome defenses. But for now, let's get ourselves into the, some of these big loot raids that I've been having over the last 24 hours. Are you ready? Yeah! Look at this guys, check this one out. This one is ranking in at 1.3 million loot and 6,000 Dark Elixir inside of the Masters 1 League. No, sorry, Masters 2. General Tony is about to go right deep inside of this guy. He is called Sea Money. Yeah, I'm about to steal his money. So we're going to be dropping down the Earthquake spells and then we are going to prepare the Giants to go right deep inside of the base. He has a single target Inferno Tower, two of them actually, a level 1 Eagle Artillery and kind of low level heroes. Now I am currently upgrading my queen to level 24. I may gem the actual time guys because I do really want to farm with her. And um, the king is currently level 25, the Grand Warden is currently level 7. Question, what hero do you want me to upgrade next? Shall I upgrade the queen to 25 or shall I do the Grand Warden to level 10? So here we go, this is where the war really starts to start. Starts to start, that made sense. So the Grand Warden's aura has just been used, dropped in the free spell on the Eagle Artillery, got in with the second rage spell, and it looks like the Giants and the King are about to make it right deep into the center, and we've basically stormtrooped this base, Tito or the center, and taken loads of loot. Look at all those storages just lined up for me, lined up for Harry Potter, just, just zap, and it's all going inside of my pocket. Look at that guys, almost half a million elixir already, almost quarter, oh, well over a quarter of a million gold, almost 5,000 dark elixir, but we still have a few troops alive down the bottom. Oh, the Harry Potter's going to be able to clear up the dark elixir, come on Harry, one more shot. Oh, Harry lost, Harry, lost. Harry didn't do it. Don't worry though, there's another one over here, Harry. Good, 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 shoot the dark elixir, where are you going? Where are you going boy? Shoot the dark elixir, there we go guys, who's alive? Just the Grand Warden. So it looks like the rest of the troops are fading out. Oh, come on, minions. Come on, minions. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Obviously, it's a replay, but yeah, the minions just died, guys. The Grand Warden's about to go down. There's only one second left in the replay, and one cheeky archer survived, but then she just got blown to pieces. So yeah, check that out. 60%, 379,000 gold, over half a million elixir, and close to 6,000 dark elixir. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, Clash had an update this morning, I'm not sure if you know about it, but basically what COC have done, it is the two year anniversary for war, so they are now offering us double XP inside of war until the 14th of April, so we have about two weeks right now to uh, go out there and get some XP. Damn, did you see those level 4 Inferno Towers? They looked OP. Yeah, it's double XP until the 14th, so if you're a war person, if you're in a war clan, then I would suggest warring every single day. Well, I was going to attack this base, guys, because there's about a million loot inside of it. But then I looked deeper into the base, and I saw these two big, scary, bloody Inferno Towers. And I've decided to skip it. So let's see if we can find another one. So here we go, guys. We've just landed on this, and it is close to half a million gold, which is great for me, because it is a single-target Inferno Tower, a level 1 Eagle Artillery, and low-level heroes. Yeah, I was, I was thinking if they're low-level heroes or not. Then I saw the Queen. She's only level 11. So it should be a great one to attack, so let's just drop the Earthquake spells there, and then we are ready to penetrate, so we are going to drop a triple Giants there, go in with a couple of these war- No! Wall breakers! No, 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 this can't be happening. 
All right, guys, we're going to have to go in now. We're going to have to just send the whole army in. We are sending the brute force, and we are going to pray. We are going to pray to uh, what we're going to pray to, the Clash God, that we can actually grab some of this loot here. So we're going to use a Grand Warden's ability to stop the Eagle Artillery from completely wrecking my troops. Going to drop the free spell on the Artillery and, of course, the Inferno Tower. One thing I will say, guys, if you are a base builder or if you want to build a good base and you're Tunnel 10, Tunnel 11... Do not put your Inferno Towers close together, and do not put your Inferno Towers and your Eagle Artillery close together. Excuse me, can you go and get some of the gold, please? I'm looking for loot. I'm not looking for percentage points. I don't care about the victory. I just want to get some loot. Please get some of that gold. There we go. The king's in the center, guys. Should be okay. It's king against king. My king is slaying his king. Look at that. Level 11 is getting taken down. Damn. Here we go. King's onto the town hall. Hopefully he can take it down because it is worth quite a bit of loot. We haven't barely grabbed any loot inside of this raid. In fact, there's been a complete fail. But as long as we can get the town hall, oh yes, straight back for the gold storage as well. Definitely a great recovery. So we're going to try and drop the minions down to see if we can grab some of that elixir before the actual wizard tower clocks on. And we're going to be able to. Yes, we, hopefully we can clear the whole bloody elixir storage. There we go. The archer tower's being cheeky and taking out my minions, but the king is in the way of that wizard tower, which is great. We got the two star, meaning we'll get a decent loot bonus, not the best. Let's see if we can get a few more percentage points just to get a bigger loot bonus. King's about to go down. Grand Warden is killing Mr. Potter. See you later, Harry. Oh, not yet. Boom! Harry's dead. He's going to take out the mortar as well. Oh! Oh, there's a minute left, guys, and there's a gold storage. Let's see if the Grand Warden's going to sniper it. So he's about to take out the mortar. One more shot. There we go. Where's he going to go? He's going to go, oh, you, you loser. You just ruined the raid for me. There we go. Going to end it there, guys. Yeah, didn't really go too well. So we're making our way into one final raid, and these are some of the loot bases that you can find inside of the Masters League, guys. And I promise you, it really doesn't take long to find them. Literally two, maybe three minutes at most, and you are finding million loot raids. Now, obviously, I'm not using the strongest army, so I'm not going to be able to take on, like, those maxed out Sand Hall 11s, especially because my queen is down. I could do it if I had the queen, but in reality, I'd rather take on a base like this. I mean, look, it's semi rush That's the great thing about Masters League. Although they're Town Hall 10s, Town Hall 11s, loads of people have just got completely rushed bases, and it means you can just destroy them so much easier. So we are about to go and take this guy's loot. We're, we're looking to take the whole lot here. We are looking to get the... Uh, in fact, if I had the Queen, I reckon it would be an easy 3-star. But we're looking to do a lot of damage inside of this base, especially because he has two, not one, but two single-target Inferno Towers. No Eagle Artillery. It should be a very decent attack. So here we go, going straight into the center with a Grand Warden, protecting our Giants. And, of course, our Harry Potter's just used his ability there. Going to be able to stay alive and hopefully not get too much damage done to them. They're about to take out the single target. Inferno Tower should go down pretty damn quickly, and the whole core has just been completely annihilated. The Pekka is taking a squadron of little wizards. In fact, there's loads of them. Please don't hit with the mortar. There's loads of wizards down on the left-hand side, taking out the Expo and loads of other buildings. The King's in the center being an absolute boss, and unfortunately, we haven't quite managed to get those two gold storages, but it's not over yet. It is not over till the fat lady sings and my mum is still in her bedroom. So don't worry about that, guys. So here we go. The Giants are about to go in. The little Harry Potters are just behind. Are we going to be able to take out the Harry Potter Towers? Yes, we are. Making our way onto the gold storages very shortly. Taking out the cannon. Are they going to take out the Archer Tower? Come on, wizards. Yeah. So there we go, guys. Just taking out that final gold storage. Is there one more? Oh, there's one more. There's one more of each storage. But it doesn't matter. we still done a great job. Got 74%. 75 thanks to mr potter 76 and there it ends grabbing a total loot gain of 430,000 gold 400,000 elixir and of course over three and a half kde taking it to about 4,000, including the loot bonus so there it is guys that is the end of the episode can we smash 69 likes on the video don't forget to stay tuned for another episode there will be one very very shortly maybe the valley of death 2.0 don't forget we are going to be doing a funny comment of the day every single day from now on most likely if i remember to do it so uh yeah feel free to send me some hate actually send me some love it's a lot nicer so i will see you very shortly for another one guys love you all peace out oh yeah by the way don't forget to let me have some questions for the q a down in the comment section peace out